everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a chatty get ready with me and I am doing a spring makeup look inspired by the song Peaches that Justin Bieber just released. It's really catchy, it's fun, it reminds me of spring so that is what we are doing today and um, yeah let's get into it. I'm going to hand sanitize my hands with the palm hand sanitizer. And I've already done my skin prep, so I actually have a Tata Harper moisturizer on right now. And we are just going to get right into it. The first thing I'm actually gonna do is apply some sunscreen. Um, lately I've been going for like pretty much daily walks as um, I'm off when I'm off work I should say and I've noticed that I've been getting a lot of Sun right here even despite it being cloudy so sunscreen is a daily must for me especially as the weather is getting nicer and we're spending more time outside um, it's like imperative that we don't forget it as usual, I do really light foundation um, kind of cover up. So I'm just using the Air Perez Honey Concealer and I'm just applying it where I need it just to allow my natural skin to shine through all my little imperfections, kind of like freckles and kind of like veining. I don't know, I do feel like it looks like natural skin, it doesn't have to be flawless. But definitely under my eyes I like to brighten that area up just to make me look more awake. And the skincare products I've been using re recently have really helped to diminish my skin's natural um, redness. So I feel like I have to cover up less red. So I'm going to get most of the peaches theme with a focus on blush as well as kind of adding some pinky peachy hues into the eyes. So I'm actually first going to go in with the Westman Atelier iPod in the shade Tabac, which kind of is like this coppery, um, light warm brown. Let's roll that around and see how it's picking up more kind of peachy orange than brown so it's like the perfect peach color and I'm just gonna apply that to my crease I'm trying to use natural light and it's a little bit overcast right now so I do apologize I'm just going to blend that under to kind of smoke it out. Okay, so now that I kind of have that orangey peachy base all around, I'm going to go in with the pink, which I think is going to give it that um, more peachy vibe and I'm actually gonna go in with a Kira Weiss Sun Touch because this kind of pulls a bit of like a peachy warm tone pink and you want to go obviously for a warm tone versus a cool tone pink to pull that peachy hue. I'm stabbing that on the eyelid And then I'm going to go back in with that initial blender brush and just kind of blend that blush into the tabac shade. Now 
that's kind of all I'm doing for the peachy hue. I want to keep it nice and bright and to keep the look kind of cohesive I'm going to actually take the same blush, dab that onto my cheeks, And then, of course, to keep this on the peach theme, I'm going to be using the Westman Atelier Peau de Peche. And I'm going to be using this Merit blush, brush, blush brush, fluffy brush. And just doing a really light dusting of bronzer with the Well People Bio Base Baked Bronzer. I'm using this Sculpt, Sculpt Buki brush from Eco Tools. Just focusing on the perimeter of my face, like that outer three. I'm supposed to be giving you updates during this, and I totally forgot. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, in my last video, I announced that I will be opening up a online retail store featuring clean, conscious beauty and wellness brands, brands that I love. Um, yay, that hurt. And that has been a process currently working on the website, the kind of blog portion of that. And oh my goodness, emailing companies to um, stock, that's a process. And I think I've come to the conclusion that with that, initially when I first launch, I'm probably not going to have every single product that I really do want um, available right away. It's going to be a gradual integration of all the you know, products that, and brands that you're suggesting and that I personally would like to feature because to do it right out of um, the get-go and the launch, it is a little bit cost prohibitive. Um, so yeah, if you, you know, when the uh, store launches and you guys are looking at the products, just know that more brands are coming, um, you know, later on into the launch. Um, I'm going to be using the Westman Atelier. This is the Nectar Lit Up Stick. And I feel like Nectar, like Nectarine peaches, they're all in the same family. It's kind of this nice kind of very subtle, more peachy tone highlight. But again, it's like super translucent. And it's balmy and it just looks like so healthy. And illuminating. For brows, I'm going to do my soap brows. So here's my soap. I'm just going to spray it. Grab my spoolie and just brush the hairs up. I'm also working on the Agent of Chalk video. I know you guys are um, anticipating that. It's really long. Um, I've never done a full brand review before of every single product and it is very time consuming to film and edit so I do apologize I am working on that. It's just um, a pain to edit so I'm going to just continue to upload other videos in the meantime for you guys to enjoy um, until that's done. So then I just take a dry, clean spoolie and just brush it out so it's not like too crispy or soapy. And then I'll take the defining part, go in with my brow pomade. This is the plume pomade. And then I just kind of do small strokes to fill in any of the sparse areas and then brush it up again just makes it look fuller. There we go. Perfect. 
Um, for mascara, I'm going to use... Do I want to use the Ilia one? What do I have here? Yeah, let's use the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. And I'm going to predominantly focus on my upper lashes. So a nice light coat of that. And my lips naturally have a bit of like a peachy hue and I feel like it pulls peachier with all the peach going on on my face. I'm just going to dab a bit of Stardust from Kosas. And then pat it with my finger. That is the makeup look. Fresh, springy, glowy. Um, I really like the kind of pinky orange hues on the eyelids. I think it's very fresh. It's very summery, springy, um, and it just kind of makes me feel happy and awake. So I really do love this look. I was inspired by the song Peaches. If you guys haven't listened to it, it's really fun, cute, like upbeat, um, spring summer song. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Please make sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button if you guys aren't yet subscribed. And you can also follow me on Instagram at the Green Bell. And also if you want to support and hear updates for Terra Alchemy, I'll also leave the Instagram page for them down below. For them, for us, for me, <laughs> for you guys to go check out um, as I continue to get different brands and items into kind of our inventory. I'll share little sneak peeks of what you guys can expect. Um, so thank you so much for all your support. Love. It means the world to me. Um, and if you guys try this fun peach inspired look, let me know. You really don't need to buy anything. You can honestly just use bronzer and a, like a peachy tone blush to accomplish this look. If you really wanted to, you can even put the cream blush on your lips. Um, so super easy to recreate with your own products at home. You do not need to go out and buy these products, but obviously if you feel compelled to or drawn to a certain product I used today, I will have everything linked down below. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.